Hi, how are you? In this lecture, I will explain about the concept of armature reaction. There is a very important concept, armature reaction in DC generator. Armature reaction in DC generator, this is a important concept. This is the effect on DC generator. I will tell you how this affects the EMF uh, in DC generator. I will tell you the effect of armature reaction in DC generator. Armature reaction means the effect of magnetic field set up by the armature current on the distribution of flux under main poles of a DC generator. It means the armature fluxes disturbs the main field flux. First of all, what do you mean by main field flux? Main field flux means the flux produced by the main poles. Those are field poles, north pole and south pole. These are the main poles. The flux passing from north pole to south pole is called main field flux. This flux is disturbed by the armature flux. How it happens, I will explain clearly. This is the armature. This circle is called armature. I will explain this armature flux is this how it disturbs the main field flux. So first of all, coming to here, armature MMF produces two undesirable effects on main field flux. What are the two effects? Main effects demagnetizes or weakens the main field flux, cross magnetizes or distorts it. There are two effects: demagnetizing effect, cross magnetizing effect. Demagnetizing effect means the armature flux is opposite to the main field flux then both are cancelled so the main field flux will be distorted or weakens the main field flux so it is the one of the effect and second one effect is cross magnetizing effect it means the main field flux direction will change because of the armature flux i will tell you clearly the effects of demagnetizing and cross magnetizing the first effect will leads to reduce the generator voltage but second effect will harms in or increases the iron losses or poor commutation and sparking this will happen from the second affecting i mean cross magnetizing effect the um, as first effect reducing the generator voltage it will happen from the demagnetizing effect okay don't worry coming to this diagram this is a two pole machine there are two poles north pole and south pole and coming to the main field flux when current passing through the main poles i mean north pole and south pole then the flux will passes via north pole to south pole see here there is a mna magnetic neutral axis gna geometrical neutral axis gna line is perpendicular to the earth so it is a line perpendicular to the ground mna mna means magnetic neutral axis which is perpendicular to the magnetic flux these lines are these lines are main field flux lines so perpendicular to this lines these lines is called mna that is also same like gna mna and gna are in phase okay now coming to the effects how the armature will affects the main field flux okay we will go to the second diagram see here there are armature conductors left side conductors right side conductors these conductors carries current when the load is connected then these currents are dots for example dot means current is towards us current passing towards us the right side conductors are for example these are the crosses crosses means this these currents away from us dot means currents towards us cross means current passing away from us okay now if current is passing away from us then the flux will be produced across the conductors when the current carrying conductor when the conductor carries current then the magnetic field will be developed across, uh, uh, developed across the conductors from the thumb rule right hand thumb rule these currents away from us so from the right hand thumb rule this uh, magnetic flux will be developed in clockwise direction so each conductor will develops magnetic flux in clockwise direction overall flux will be rotating in clockwise direction so this flux will be 
disturbed the main field flux. This flux is developed by the armature conductors. Likewise, left side conductors are also carrying currents. So these currents are towards us. Towards us means from the right hand thumb roll. This will be anti-clockwise direction. The magnetic flux are anti-clockwise direction. So the total flux will be anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So this uh, flux, this armature flux is called phi A and field flux, north pole to south pole passing flux is called phi F. So these two fluxes will be interacted each other. How, how it will happen when I will tell you clearly count. Now go to the third diagram. In this diagram, see here. So this conductor is carries a magnetic flux. So this flux is opposes the main field flux. So this flux direction is here from right to left. Main field flux direction is left to right. So both are opposite direction. So the magnetic flux will be nullified. So there is no magnetic flux here, main, main magnetic flux. Okay, likewise, so if in case the magnetic flux is in this direction, armature magnetic flux, if uh, for example, main field flux direction is from left to right, then both are in crosses. So from, uh, by the effect of cross magnetizing, the magnetic flux will go to the downwards. So here, this is a upwards. So the magnetic flux uh, direction will be main poles magnetic flux direction will be changes like this. So north pole to and go to the south pole like this lines like these lines the magnetic flux will passes from north pole to south pole. So what happens here this in this region the magnetic flux will be distorted and like that here also the magnetic flux is distorted because of the cross magnetizing and demagnetizing effects. So both flux are crosses or demagnetizes so that the magnetic flux will be nullified. So the remaining flux will go through the direction of north to south like this direction. So now what happens? MNJ. Now, go, now coming to the MNJ magnetic neutral axis. The magnetic neutral axis means the perpend which is perpendicular to the main field flux. So main flux well, main field flux is somewhat it bends the magnetic flux. So when we draw the magnetic neutral axis, I mean when we draw perpendicular line, then it will comes like this. So in the first diagram, there is no current carrying conductors in the armature. So the magnetic neutral axis is like a GNA geometrical neutral axis, both are in phase. When the current passes, current flows through the conductors, armature conductors, then the, due to the arm, uh, cross magnetizing and demagnetizing effect, this MNJ will uh, changes with an angle of theta. So due to this change in angle, so there are spars will be produced because of the brushes play position will be changed. So if the magnetic neutral axis is in phase with the GNA, then no problem with the brushes and current carrying conductors. So to collect the current from conductors, the brushes will collect when the MNJ will place in the in phase with the GNA. So when the MNJ will changes from GNA, then there are many effects will be placed. Those are it will distort the main field flux because of the armature. So armature flux is distort the main field flux and there are cross magnetizing, demagnetizing effect and sparkings. Sparkings will be produced here because the brushes, these brushes will be ready to collect the current from armature conductors. But conductor is somewhat different. I mean there is a theta angle between the brush and uh, commutator uh, conductors, current conductors. So due to this angle, these are trying to collect the current from conductors. So the sparks will be placed here. Due to the sparking effect, there will be a heat produced. So this is called pure commutation. Pure commutation means, commutation means, what do you mean by commutation? Which, when the current collects from the conductor, I mean commutation, commutating conductors, the brushes will be collected from the 
permutating conductors so but here there is a small problem to collect the current from commutator so these these will be increases the iron losses so these are the overall effects due to the armature reaction